Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Novsbig, N-O-E-V-S-P-I-G brand. Their soldering gun kit, it's a 60 watt soldering gun, a soldering tool with five pieces extra. You've got your soldering sucker tool, you have an included screwdriver, you have two different precision uh, grabbers for electronics, you have an additional five tips plus the tip there which is six, some nice one millimeter core rosin solder and the, the solder holder. And what's unique about this is that this has a handle that you push to send the solder through to the tip so that theoretically you can do one-handed soldering. We're gonna, we're gonna test that out. This could be used for electronics or doing uh, home do-yourself work and even for jewelry. And this tip gets nice and hot and you'll be able to solder a lot of different things. So this, the solder sucker is very simple to use. It's one of these devices where you compress a spring and then you push that button right there and you see as I block it, it has a huge amount of vacuum in there and that will pull solder up. So if you add too much solder on a connection or you want to remove components, you can use that and allow you to remove things quite easily. So inside this thing, the tips themselves are have an inner heated ceramic technology. That's what's producing the 60 watts and the high temperature. This will go to about uh, between 392 to 842 degrees Fahrenheit on the tip, that's 60 watts. And um, the, iron, the tips themselves, as I show you, you get a whole set right here of five plus the, uh, the one that's on there right now. The temperature stability of these tips with their control system in there is plus or minus five degrees Fahrenheit, which is really accurate. The tips themselves are the 900M series, so you can always get replacements. And a warm up time is only one to two minutes on there. So we're gonna be testing this out. The unit comes with a simple instruction uh, on the back of the product itself, the cardboard showing you how to feed the wire. Let's take a closer look at the gun itself. And you see it has a nice flexible cord with a USA uh, polarized plug on there, 120 volts. Has a little small switch right there, which is nice. You can turn it on and off between uses. And there's the button that's going to feed the solder. And then if you look here, it has an adjustment. You can turn counterclockwise or clockwise, and you can rotate the angle of the exit point of the solder there. We're going to try that. And then this is the piece that works on the solder to hold it in place. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this solder roll on this by removing that screw right there. So this is the way the solder goes on here. You can see that this is on the bottom and take a look at the angle of this. And if I rotate, you can see it has that open slot right there on the bottom. And then on the unit itself, this is gonna go on the top and slide down just like that, it locks in place. There is a little power indicator right there that we're gonna show when we plug this in. And then the solder is gonna go into this little opening right here and you feed it in slowly. And you can see the mechanism right here by removing this cover right there and that allows you to see the solder and the mechanism in there. So we're gonna slowly feed this in and now the solder is going into the mechanism and if I tighten this up a little bit we can see it being pulled in. So it's advanced again, it looks like about a quarter of an inch each time. And now the solder should appear on the end right here. And there the solder is right there, right on the tip. So you can see I could advance it. And of course I could adjust this to line it up perfectly if I want. And now I can put the cover back on. Like that. Now we can plug this in and give it a try. 
So now I have it plugged in. I'm going to turn this switch in the upwards direction toward that white dot. And there is a indicator right there. It's a little neon bulb. I don't know if you can see that. That is glowing. And that goes on and off depending on the switch, letting you know that power has been applied to it. And now we could take a thermal gun. Let's see if this is starting to heat up. So let's take a look right here. My table is about 70 degrees and the tip is starting to heat up. You can see it's 90, 100, 125. So let's let that heat up and we can already see that the solder is starting to melt because you just saw right there and you can see the solder fumes. And then we can advance this. And again, we can adjust this so that it's right in the tip. So right now it's slightly on an angle. Let me rotate this. And this runs pretty cool. So now I'm gonna tighten that up. And now it's running right into the tip right there. So that's going to save you a lot of effort because you don't have to feed the solder at the same time. So we're going to give this a, and we're going to try this out now on some circuits. So here I have it plugged in. I want to show you that it's only drawing about 33 watts. So when it first turns on, it was drawing about 60 watts, and then it starts adjusting itself and regulating the temperature. So here I have some wires, and I'm just going to give it a try. I'm going to advance the solder while I'm holding. iron on the connection as you can see I was able to tin those wires and I was only using one hand doing it, so it actually does work. I want to show you the soldering suction tool here. So a lot of times you have circuit boards that have components that you want to remove. So you're going to heat up the connection using the soldering iron. And the solder starts to get melted. Then you put the solder sucker on there hit the button and what it does is it starts retracting the solder so that you can remove that component a lot easier and it pulls the solder up on that connection so that you could lift the component out of there and that saves you a lot of time so that you can re replace components quite easily using a tool like this so if you want to replace the tip you should unplug the unit first then you have your choice of the different tips and there is a knurled section of metal right there you want to go counterclockwise and loosen that up and then this piece pulls out and there's where you could see the ceramic heating element and then right inside here is the actual tip and I want to make sure it's not hot anymore and you push that tip through and there's the original tip and now I can put the included extra tip in there like that and that, that's a larger head on there, so that we could do maybe larger pieces of metal or wires. Then you slide this back in, turning that same screw clockwise. And when you get the angle that you want on the front, and you further tighten it down like that, and now you have that tip on there, ready for soldering. Now we're gonna plug this back in. 
and we're going to turn the unit on again with that switch right there and we're going to let that heat up we're going to test that tip now this tip has a different length coming out so we're going to take this adjustment right here and we're going to move this a little bit further back slightly different angle like that and now the tip is hot and you can see it's feeding its solder ready for me to use this so what do i think about the nose big brand noev sbig brand soldering iron gun kit the 60 watt gun that has automatic feeding ability and the extra tips the solder solder holder the tweezers, the Phillips screwdriver, and the solder desucking tool. Very nice quality. I think this is a great value. You're getting a lot here, and it's going to be very nice quality. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this as you, please hit the like button. Hope the information presented helps you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.